up my friends and welcome back to another video. I'm starting this vlog off very late uh, and I'm very sweaty as you can tell, pretty obvious. Uh, it is, I don't know what time it is because my phone's dead. Yeah, yeah, right there. Thanks iPhone. You know the biggest issue I have with iPhones is the longer you have them, the more the battery dies more quickly. So like I've had this phone for maybe like a year and a half and the battery, you know, only lasts maybe like six, seven hours, which is freaking ridiculous. So all I have left to do today is an appointment because the day is gone pretty much. And everything after that will be devoted to this as much as possible. And I will focus on this and nothing else but this because I know I have been slacking a little bit and I got to get back into it. I wanted to point this out. Seriously, Mother Nature? Like, really? It's summer. Why are you so crappy? Like, why? Oh, and now it's starting to rain. Yeah, that, yeah, that was karma. That was totally karma. Ah, nice air conditioning. But like, seriously, I mean, I know I was just complaining about the weather. Like, yeah, it is horrible. Like, look at that. It's just disgusting. It's dreary. It makes everyone's mood negative. And you gotta stay positive. Like I always say, you gotta stay positive, constantly positive. Just think positive thoughts and positive things will happen. I promise you, it, it will. Trying to keep yourself positive is one of the most hardest things you can do. But you know, after a while, it gets engraved in your brain, almost like, you know, a routine. And you know, when those negative moments do come in life, because we all get them, I get them, we get them every day at least once a day. Because you know, life is constantly trying to pull us down. After a while of positive thoughts and making yourself be more positive, when those negative things come along, no matter how drastic they are, there's something in the back of your mind after training yourself to be more positive, it's telling you and trying the hardest to make you more positive and it's fantastic and you, that's you guys to take from this is just be positive just be positive that's it that's the simplest message I can give you be positive but anyway but yes I was saying the weather is horrible but it's still just muggy and hot and oh that's why it's just yeah what the heck mother nature Okay guys, and welcome to a new segment, whatever it's going to be called, Quickie News. So this is a way so I can incorporate everything I do enjoy into just one video for you guys, which makes it that much a little bit longer and that much interesting. And today we're going to be talking about the actual set photos that have been released for the past couple days for the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Now some backstory, if not many of you know, uh, Tom Holland is the brand new Spider-Man and the solo film he will be starring in is named Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay, so if you didn't know, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming is actually based off a comic book that was made back in 1984 and it featured Peter Parker coming back from a far distant planet in the comic book series called Secret Wars and coming back with a very new costume. And that very new costume is the Black Symbiote, later known to become Venom. Now, clearly, the movie probably won't contain the Black Symbiote, but maybe it will contain a new costume. Maybe the Symbiote will come along. I highly doubt it, but I'm sure there will be some form of new suit, whether that is the actual suit of uh, the ones in the set photos, maybe that's the new suit, but I am not entirely sure. Uh, they are actually currently filming in Atlanta where most of, I think, don't quote me on this, but that's where most of the Marvel movies are made, are in Atlanta. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Now, I want you guys to tell me what you think about this. Are you excited? Do you think it's good that he's actually keeping the costume? Um, that Iron Man actually gave him or would you have rather seen the costume he actually made himself? You know personally, I'm hoping in the movie they show a little clip or something of the costume he actually made that is you know very very slightly shown in Civil War. You know I will continue to do this. I will find new stories whether it's movies, games, whatever. Probably just those two ranges as movies and games because you know we have Suicide Squad coming up and you know, 2017 is packed 
and chock full of superhero movies. So it's going to be a very interesting ride. But anyway, back to the vlog. Okay, so I just finished up the first ever segment of Quickie News. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know my stairs are very crackly, but it was a lot of fun to make. So I'm actually going to go edit this up and I will talk to you guys once I'm done. Now, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. That was actually a ton of fun to make doing that quickie news thing. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like. Anyway, I'm going to leave this vlog here. I just finished editing all that. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put it up for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And one last thing, as always, remember, it's all about you. And I will see you in the next video. You just gotta live long enough. See you guys. And actually, uh, one last thing. I, you know, I thought about this after I did that really odd speech little thing I did, that rant. But I just wanna ask you guys one question. And I'm gonna ask this question repeatedly throughout every single video. And that question is, and I will end the video on this question. Are you happy?